Let me get the camera position, wait for a few people to come in. Hello, how's it going? Yeah. It's a beautiful painting. <laughs> you, you can, uh, you're working home in Connecticut. Uh, people are going to fish all night. You know what you're doing? Fishing, yeah, right? yeah, for a while. Welcome, welcome, Mr. Stand. Two stands fishing three. Welcome, buddy. I appreciate you coming in so quickly. All right, guys. So we're going to try a spot where I used to fish. Uh, oh, boy. I think it's been over a year since I fished here. This is the actual DC Tidal Basin. Um, my biggest fish ever in this um, in this body of water right here um, is the 40-pounder, but that happened a long time ago. Um, I caught a 30 and a 25 about a year ago, and I'm going to try it here for one hour. Let's give it one hour, guys. At 5.30, nothing happens, we're gone. We're going to the riverside. Guys, someone give me a thumbs up for the audio. Just make sure the audio is okay. I'm, I'm, I'm always worried about that. I want to make sure I have everything connected okay. Uh, Kansas City, welcome. What's up? I appreciate everyone coming in so quickly. Catch me a fish. We're going to try. I've been here already 10 minutes with some baits out. Nothing. So <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a type of person, I'll be honest, guys. I like that quick, that quick bite. Um, if possible, let me make sure the camera. I've been working on the camera. Thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for giving me that thumbs up. Y'all are awesome and amazing. Uh, let me just kind of show you exactly where we're at. Uh, where is it? Right there. That's the, the uh, Thomas Jefferson um, monument there. I think that's what you call it, Thomas Jefferson, right there. Um, you can rent boats on that side when they're in season. Of course, not during the pandemic. They rent a bunch of paddle boats. And this whole basin here, um, gets full with paddle boats um, I'll show you a better shot so hopefully we don't start lagging there we go check out the monument guys right there there's the monument I parked right there there's my parking my park in my truck so if we don't get a bite quickly we're gone <laughs> we're gonna pack it up we will pack it up quick um, I, we're pretty sure that they are on the riverside but it's kind of a hit or miss. You don't know if it's going to be on fire or what, what section they're going to be at. I saw uh, a lot of fishing come in. I appreciate you coming in, buddy. Um, I was I was in uh, some of your stream when you were out fishing. Um, I just don't like to go in and out and say hi every time because then you have to say hello to 30 people. So, uh, Mr. Big Slim. I know it's Big Slime, but it's, <laughs> no, no, it's, yeah, no, it's, I call you Big Slime. But the name is Big Slim, so I said it right. Uh, TV, let me see here. Is that the same place you got? A 50 pounder. The 50 pounder came, no, my biggest in the basin is uh, uh, 40 pounds. And I only have a short video, about a minute long, and I'm holding it up. And it's got no sound because I put a, I put a Bob Seger uh, sound track to it and they, they uh, took off the sound. But you can see it's a big, beautiful, fat 40 pounder, long time ago. Uh, Michael Marilla, I appreciate you coming in. Fishing Magician, I saw you. Ace, Maurice, Richard Ward, uh, DeLong. If I'm saying that, Larry, thank you. Appreciate the love and support. Mr. Leroy, Mr. Steve Douglas, how's the weather? Um, It's not tremendously cold. It is not tremendously cold today. It is not. Thank you so much, Mr. Douglas. Um, let me see here. Good afternoon, my beautiful people. There you go. Absolutely. That's how you do it. Just get it all. <laughs> I always try to find... Um, that's Jesse from Outdoor Addictions. And I love watching Palmetto uh, show yesterday. He was um, giving his, his opinion because where he fishes, it's really, really cold. And <laughs> um, I think you would have been a good guest to be on the show. Uh, I was trying to pay attention to what you were saying. <clears throat> Big Cats Night. Well, like I said, I'm going to try this spot one hour. One hour. These Maybe even less. I mean, we got, we got to see movement pretty quick here. And if there is no movement, we're out of here. Mr. Poppy. I think the last time I fished, I think I was using um, the, my old Whisker Seeker rods. Um, Poppy's got most of them. Uh, Mexi Cat, what's going on, buddy? Oh, I won! I want to run from. I I won a rod from Mexi Cat, and thank you very much. Um, most of you are saying, "What do you need another another rod for?" Well, here's the thing: is that I've been wanting a black rod so I can do a video on on. I mean, it's not rocket science to add high reflective tape, at least the way I do it, and it stays on. Um, most tapes that people put on they they kind of they have too much memory they want to bounce back all these have reflective tape and um this the silver it has tremendous amount of, of adhesion 
Um, thank you very much, Mr. Rich Reward, for that five dollars I get. <laughs> there you go. Um, and I won. I won that rod. And I'm, I'm gonna do a video. Maybe we'll do it live or something like that on um, how I do it, how I go about doing that reflective tape. I think it's really, really important that s most of us that are going live, you know, to see those rods as much as possible. Um, Mr. Avid, oh, I have it. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Avid. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I appreciate the, the love and support. Let me see, you were a moderator for a long time and you're back as one. Um, I haven't likes to squash the trolls really quick. <laughs> um, uh, P City, boom, that's right, we got the booms going. Yeah, y'all are absolutely amazing. I love that, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Once again, let me show you a quick view. That is the top Thomas Jefferson Memorial. Uh, is it the monument or memorial? I don't know. Memorial, right there. My 40, my 40 pounder came right on the other side on that concrete pad right there. Um, but that's been a long time ago. I did really well on the live stream right here, believe it or not. Oh, we got, we just keep it going with the five dollar guys. Y'all are absolutely amazing. Thank you very much for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we caught a 30 and a 25 pounder. I think it's been about a year ago here. So this is pretty good, pretty good spot. It's not fished a whole lot, at least that on YouTube. Um, it's it's kind of hard to always go and find a new location, which is nearly impossible. Every spot's been, um, it's been fished, but I just had, I just had a hunch that, that it's, it's, it's in here. I know a lot of people say, oh, the fish are deep. The fish are not here. And they, they might be right. They might be right, but we'll, 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 we'll check it out for a little while. Let's, let's try it. I appreciate 86 wonderful people in here. So amazingly quick, Mr. Norm. Thank you so much for coming in, buddy. Tim Molina, um, I almost didn't recognize you because guys, I recognize y'all, believe it or not, by your picture or your icon. So when y'all change it, it throws me off. <laughs> I'm sorry for the last time I called out uh, Chesapeake. He's changed his logo four times. And, and, I'm, and now they've all been good. But sometimes I just don't recognize y'all when I change your um, your little icon and have a part. Uh, when is the Catfish Conference? Steve Douglas said that's good questions. Campus, Catfish Conference is coming up pretty quick. We'll see. We'll see if, if, if I decide to go. I might. I might. Uh, let me see here. Does it mean? Yes, it, 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 it throws you off. Yeah, I, that's how I that's how I recognize you. I normally don't read um, the name. I just maybe the first. That's why for a long time I wouldn't I wouldn't say hi to, to Katie. I haven't seen Katie around very often. Um, I would miss Katie. Who was the other one here? Um, Mr. Mike. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, guys. It. it like I said, I mean, I, it all, well, not, not all of it. A, a lot of it does go back into the show. Um, I just ordered me some more rods. Um, people say, why? Just, just because it's just, <laughs> that's just kind of what we do. You know, women want those purses and, 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 and shoes. You know, I, I want rods. I want rods. Uh, driving home, kicking it. Yeah. Thank you, Palmetto. Your, your show was very, very entertaining. And I enjoyed it. And I, um, you got this um, studio talk um, down. I, I just, and then I'm glad that you're gonna kind of pursue that. Um, I know you did say that you're not gonna make promises you'll be on every Sunday, but I know a lot of us do enjoy it. And it was, it was a good show. It was a fantastic show. I enjoyed it. Mr. Creel, Creel, you know what? <laughs> Creel, you, oh man, you're another person. I think, I think you need to start doing your your little bit of live shows too. I know you've been a guest on a lot of people, and um, yesterday you were on Avid's show, and <clears throat> I, I was enjoying what you were saying so much. I mean, I, it was time for me to wash up, and I was still <laughs> listening to 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 you speak, and it was awesome. And when I heard my name, I was all wet. And I had to go out and try to touch my phone to say thanks or something like that. It's, it's crazy. Uh, bait you using? Good question. Um, we're using. Um, uh, Red Bull mixed with strawberry, eel, eel, and I also have a chicken. Um, yeah, I do have chicken. I'm not sure if it's lungs or kidneys. I can't remember. I told I told Michael Murillo they've been soaking um, for <clears throat> for some time. I do have a, a small little live eel. I did bring just eel by itself with nothing on there, but it's um, strawberry bull. <laughs> That's what it is, strawberry bull. <clears throat> oh man. Uh, two stands, two stands. Y'all are awesome and amazing. Outdoor addiction. Um, I haven't seen you. Hope you'll be going live sometime. Outdoor addiction. Uh, catfishing dreams, man. These rods are not moving. And I and here, if I, maybe, I'm sure some of you already asked, why why don't you have that uh that fourth rod out? Well, I am in the DC Tidal Basin, and <laughs> they they some um 
I've only, well, I, one, of the two, one of the two times that I've been asked for my DC fish license, one time it happened in the, in, in the basin, but I believe, I don't know if they're working on it right now during this um, chunky, it's Dan Davis uh, in the house. What's uh, your experiment, buddy? Oh, experiment is, oh, good question. What's, <laughs> Michael Barillas gives me these titles and I forget what the title is. I just, um, it, it's, it, we're trying um, strawberry bull is one, but the main experience as, is I'm going back old school. Let me bring one of the rigs. I mean, most of y'all already know, but let me just bring it. Some people are, are like me, visual. Plain Carolina rig. Two of the rods, well, one only right now, I think. No, two of them. Let me see, hold on, hold on. Have, um, have dragons, which are peg floats. Um, you can call them whatever you want, uh, demon dragons, chubs. Um, and I wanted to try the old school. I mean, I, I see um, that 62 pound that was ca ca caught by Hayes has, you know, has life. And Fish and Magician's doing really, really awesome. Plain Carolina rig. Here's, here's your no roll. Of course, I painted for the fluorescent. They get all beat up and they get shipped after some time. Um, I put a lot of work and I decided not to, to put this much work on, on no rolls anymore. I'm just going to paint it with regular oil-based paint instead of fluorescent paints. Um, Carolina rig, hook. And I, I, and I also downsized on the hook just in case it's the smaller catfish biting. I do want to bring them in. I just, <laughs> um, I, I, for a long time I did um, 10 knots and this is a six knot by Whisker Seeker. And um, I did pick their, uh, their sharper, sharper hooks. So that's the experience. We're going from um, two with Carolina rig and two with um, suspended up, you know, um, demon dragons, chubs, spooks. All it does is suspend your bait off the body floor. So maybe I'll have to get this one out there to kind of make it even, but it's not biting. So that's, that's the experiment. That's what it is. Old school. I mean, believe it or not, my biggest, biggest, biggest beautiful fish ever caught 52 pound um, blue was caught on the Carolina rig without the spooks. It's just kind of hard. Once you start using the spooks, I really like it. I mean, I think it looks cool. I mean, it gives you that slight confidence. Look at all these birds flying around guys. It looks, looks beautiful. Let me see if I can catch them. Oh, they're still, yeah, you can still see them. Look at that. Birds are moving, so I hope that's a good sign. Once again, there's the Thomas Jefferson. It's under uh, construction. Um, they're uh, cleaning it up. Um, it had mildew, really, really bad mildew. And um, instead of them power washing kind of what <laughs> what I would have done, they are laser removing the, the dirtiness off of that, um, off that uh, Thomas Jefferson. Uh, here's the... The monument right there boom so I'm, I'm in between um those who want to know and like i said we're gonna make we're gonna make a move pretty quick here guys in about 30 minutes 40 minutes if these rods do not move we're gonna go to the riverside maybe i should have just went over there but i wanted to give this uh title basin this is this those who want to look it up the dc title basin I, I know outdoor addictions you said something i didn't catch in this year um um What's, um, I, I've had the, the 38, that 38, I've had two of them. I had the, the Whisker Secret rod. Um, I had this casting and the spinning. Phenomenal, phenomenal rods. Um, really, really strong. And I think, uh, I read some of the comments people were telling you that uh, Spencer, I think, caught a, I couldn't remember, a 35 or 30 pound flathead. Phenomenal, phenomenal um, rods. Um, but I mean, it's, 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 it's what you like. If you like a little bit of a, more of a backbone stipper, overbuilt rod that's 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 the one really good i mean i don't know anything about uh, ice fishing um so i did buy them just to try them out let me show you something guys that whisker seeker sent me check out check this out guys look at this this came in the mail over a week ago and i hadn't opened it up and i had been talking about it on uh several live streams like how could you not open it up because i mean i kind of had a feeling just by the size of the box and um the tracking and i think it said uh net or something like that so um i just opened it yesterday just to kind of do the cust uh, the chunky the chunky custom uh, customization to it yeah it's it's absolutely beautiful i mean look look at this carry and you can carry it let's get that i haven't i mean i did open this here so let me see where the zippers at it's got the zippers on top and, and I called Whisker Seeker and I said, hey guys, um, I really appreciate, which I believe is a net in the box. I have not opened it. Maybe I said, maybe there's a note 
in the box but um <laughs> you know i greatly appreciate y'all sending me this net but what do y'all expect from me they're like nothing we just know that you buy lots of rods and we love what you do and and, and just continue to do what you're doing so they didn't ask me to talk about it they didn't even ask me to use it but i mean come on guys this is a very beautiful um beautiful expensive net so i mean I, i'm gonna try it out for for some time you can already see i did the high reflective tape man i, I kid you not guys this reflective tape it's on the and on the outside and the inside <laughs> instead of talking about that i'm talking about my tape man i have i kid you not probably six to seven hours on this tape um i i did the the glue here to, to kind of keep it down so anyways it's got this um lock where you can extend it out here and then it has an, ex, an, a, an a second extender look at that boom um, I think it's 65 inches, if I remember correctly, and it's got different, different, but it's awesome. I mean, I just want to say thank you to Whisker Seeker. We're going to try it out. And in the bag, it did come with a separate net in case you want to change this net out. Um, but I like this net. I like it. So just wanted to kind of show that off. I mean, it's awesome when you receive something from a catfishing company and um, just want to say thanks. Boom. I hope to climb it up today. So that's the thing. I mean, I'm just showing you the net. Let's let's get it dirty. <laughs> Not full of mud either. Uh, let's get it kind of ready. Just in case something happens here. Uh, Kelly, let me see here. You can fit. <laughs> You're exactly right. Uh, I can fit Mason in there. You're exactly right. Congratulations, Chuck. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it feels really good. And I'll be honest. I've, <laughs> I don't know. I've purchased probably nearly 20 rods, Whisker Seeker rods. But um it's awesome makes me feel good appreciate you watching the live absolutely stan you did amazing um i believe your first first hour was the was the um, that when it was really really on and I, I think you caught a few fish throughout the throughout the stream but you and your son did amazing once again uh has life uh thanks guys yeah has life right there guys caught a 62 pound beautiful catfish um last week and, and, and that's how it works uh i am oh what happened, Michael Murillo? I told you you were fired. <laughs> oh man, me and Michael Murillo joke around a lot, man. Um, these good people. Um, are you blue now? Um, I need you to be blue because I need to. We'll have the trolls come in. I guys, I know we have a lot of comments coming out, and I do apologize. I cannot keep with everything. I try to. Chicky, how you doing, brother? Happy New Year's. Thank you. Happy New Year's to you too. Absolutely. Um, gonna go back real quick. Um, I think I turned you blue, Michael Murillo. Um, all right, get to catch up, get to catch up. Do a test, Michael Murillo, just to make sure. Hold on. Boom, okay, it should be fixed now. Um, I'm fishing near, so sad, dude. Oh, so you, you, you're from the area, you're fishing near, near Haz, okay. So I guess it, it might be a slow day. I mean, that's just, or just your area because um, Fish Magician was fishing one spot and I can't remember if he just caught one seven pound fish and then um <laughs> this guy's blue i'll have to check that again michael Malone. and then uh has likes was about half a mile to a mile down the river and he did really well um uh let's see here quick plug yeah good 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 point there yeah um anywhere anyone who fishes anywhere you should always pick up your trash um Michael Murillo is now moderate on your channel. It's that's the second time, it's third time it's telling me that Michael Murillo. So, hope it's working. <clears throat> uh, how come you only have three rods? Because <laughs> I am fishing in the heart of DC, but I, I'll, I'll get that other one out just to. We have um. Let me see. Nope, you're done. <laughs> uh, got fired again for the Michael. It keeps telling me you're a moderator here, so it's it, uh, sometimes it, it it takes time for it to get to you. But um, uh, hopefully. Hopefully, well, now we'll try it out again. Uh, let, let me get that other rod because um, we do have EU on two of them and we have chicken. Um, what did I tell you what it was, Michael? Would that tell you it was kidney or, or yeah, it's kidneys. Um, chicken, but it's dipped in uh, strawberry bull. Um, uh, Ricky, if I didn't say hi to you guys, I missed a lot. All right, guys, let me get another rod out. Just <laughs> hopefully no one comes up to me and, and get in trouble here. Uh, let me see here. Just uh, Michael Monroe. Thank you, Kevin. It says here, Michael Run is not a moderator. Moderator he is now a moderator on your show. So, uh, let me see here. Chicken kidney. Yes, thank you. Chicken kidney uh, dipped 
in uh, st um, Red Bull, strawberry, strawberry Red Bull. So rods have not tapped or anything. Oh, going back to, yeah, everyone can't fish any, any kind of fishing. Pick up your trash when y'all are done. Um, they were really making a mess. That's what, one of the reasons I stopped fishing um, where I caught my 40 pound fish right at the Jefferson Memorial. People were just leaving trash and chicken livers everywhere. It was just disgusting. And they were leaving it on these granite, beautiful walls. Um, <clears throat> all right, let's go. Let me put another one out there real quick. All right, here we go. Chicken, chicken kidney dipped in um, Red Bull and strawberry jello, jello mix. It's been in there marinated for, I don't know, like three or four days in the fridge. Let's see, let's just, we're trying something different. I do have a, a live eel. We might uh, cut that thing open later on. Cast this way. Okay, we need a rod to move. I saw one ton, one ton's in the house. Oh. Fin Secret TV, y'all are awesome and amazing. Y'all must be joking around. 149 people, amazing people watching the show. All right guys, so we are in the DC Tidal Basin. We're gonna give it a shot for <laughs> 30 more minutes and I'm moving to the river, the riverside. Hopefully it's not jam packed. I don't think it would be. Y'all are all saying hello to one another. That's absolutely awesome and amazing. No, this. Wait, yeah. Uh. Uh oh, this time it, mouth. <laughs> Ooh, let me see here. Oh boy, you got oh, one more ride. Yes, yes, yes. Who said that? Someone said that. Um, more rods might not really even help you out because the scent is out there. I mean. A blue cat, if it's hungry, it's around, it's, it's gonna find whatever you have out there if that's what they're looking for. You're exactly right. Um, chunk in the daylight. Go get a chunk in the daylight. Yeah, exactly. I wanted to get a kid going, like I said, DC Tidal Basin. That's where we're at right now. Uh, we will move to, to the river, riverside. It seems like <laughs> fairly soon here. I don't see nothing, nothing happening, popping here. Uh, yeah, if y'all haven't, haven't hit the thumbs up, y'all can consider doing that. It would be awesome. Really appreciate that. Guys, once again, that's, those that don't know, Ricky Creation sent me this sign. It's an LED glass and it changes colors. I just like it to have it on red, especially when the fluorescent light hits it at nighttime. It looks really, really bright, nice and bright. Uh, Mr. Mike is in the house. Appreciate y'all. River Whiskers is in the house. Like, yes, don't forget to like. Where is my drink? I need some sugar so I can start getting my sugar rush outdoors. That's the chunky, that's the chunky, <laughs> yeah, good one. I like that. Yeah, 62 pounds. Um, I don't think that it would be in the tidal basin of that big. Um, I my biggest in the DC setup is 40 pounds, but like it was in springtime. I mean, it was it was rocking and rolling. Mr. Greenwell, thank you so much for coming in. Um, there's 40s, 30s, lots of 30s, 35s in here. All right, guys, let me put my soda. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I can caught some big ones out of here. Yeah, 30, 40 pounds. Good God. You local? Uh, yeah, from the Virginia side. Yeah? Yeah. How long do they let you stay down here and fish and stuff? You can pretty much fish overnight if you want. 
So, I mean, I'm from out of town. They probably wouldn't say nothing. So, if I was just uh, staying down here or anything. Yeah, no, no. You're, you know, as long as you have a decent fishing license. Yeah. Well, when you're, if you're be, not you're fishing, you're just, just chilling. Like, if I was just chilling out there. Oh, they close these gates here. So, you have to be fishing. Um, well, I mean, if you're parked in here, yeah. you have to have your, they'll close the, the gates at a certain time. I don't know what time. Would they just leave you alone if you stayed in here? You I have no idea. I have no idea. I might try it yeah. out. All right, I'm going to keep my show going here. Uh, yeah, I got a show too, man. He'll Billy Broadcaster on Facebook. You care if I, uh, you know, well, me, let him know who you are, and then my, my viewers can see your stuff going on here. No, we'll just keep it like the way it is right now. All right. Have a good one, man. Uh, got gotcha. you. I got a ton of viewers, man. All right, man. That's good. We're good. Woo! Gotta love it. Oh man. <laughs> oh. oh boy. Yeah. That's what I had told Michael Murillo, man. This this spot, it you have a walking path. <laughs> you have a walking path from the monument right here, and you have these people coming by right here. You know, most people just say hi and hello and move on, but then they go from there, they walk all the way to the Thomas Jefferson, right right over there. And I had said, I had told my Corolla, man, I don't know about this spot. <clears throat> but we're here. We're here and the rods are not moving. Another 50, 20 minutes and we're out of here. Mr. Kentucky, thanks so much for coming in, brother. Send the magic, yeah. <laughs> Any luck yet? No, not, not, not even a nibble. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to waste too much time here. Like I said, I mean, usually if the fish are there, they're gonna they're gonna find that scent. And they're if they're feeding. But we just had a, a report. I think P P City said that he was fishing towards Haslife. I don't know. He was from the area. He he's been having it rough. So it might be just one of those days where it's a uh, shut down. We'll, we'll see. Uh, exactly. We got to keep going. Uh, pull, pull the finger. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, pull. <the> f <laughs> Whoa. All right. Ah, uh, they are the junkie. <laughs> oh, so you were out Saturday. Okay, thank you for clarifying that. I remember it's it's kind of hit or miss. I, I've I've been where fishing magician one night was doing really really well. I go to the same spot the following day, and just like rough, 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 rough. I am out. Good luck, Junkie. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Good luck to you. Appreciate that. Thanks for coming in. Um, logistics. Leaper. <clears throat> it was the right spot. Yeah. Like I said, another 15 minutes. I mean, I'm, like I said, I don't want to waste time. It does take me, you know, 10 minutes to load up and then drive over there. 10 minutes. Unload. 10 minutes. And get ready. So we'll, we're gonna lose prop about 30 minutes, but. Uh, you got the big fish right out there. Yes, yes, it's one of these two. Uh, Haslife, guys, Haslife, once again, that don't know, he, I lend up three of my rods. He had uh, sent me a message, he's like, hey, you know what, I, I wanna buy a, another rod. And I'm like, why, you have three rods? That's That was my first thing. You know, I, I always tell people, if you have three rods and you really don't need one, he's like, no, no, no. I wanna buy an actual catfishing rod. He's like, I can't make up my mind between the Chris Flores Muddy River or the whisker seeker and i said look i have both of them just pick them up my house you try them and then you find out what you what you like um and he caught a 62 pound blue catfish on one of these two rods right here he tore it up and um oh, oh here we go here we go here we go here we go come on come on, come on. let's go let's go oh nope got off got off Woo! good sign good sign good sign Good hit, good hit, a decent hit. I don't, I don't think it was a monster, but it was decent. Let's get it back out there. Oh yes, yes. I'm gonna put it right back out there. It, that that thing is nice and juicy. Chicken, chicken uh, kidney dipped in a, a strawberry bull, Red Bull.
Ooh, good sign. Good sign. I'm going to move over a little bit, man. There's a hole right there. I know I'm going to fall over that hole. Oh, all right. <laughs> See if I can get positioned here. That'll work. A little bit better. Money, money, money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, that stuff just kind of comes just out of me. <laughs> it was almost a money, 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 money. Woo! I was trying to see if we can have that Thomas Jefferson in, in the shop, but uh, not going to work. That's all right. That's okay. Mr. Kentucky. <laughs> um, so I did change all my lines out. I went back to the old line. Um... Cabela's it's called Cabela's um, salt strike and um, I, I just had a jumbo spool of it and I really enjoyed that that line um oh thank you drop first video oh nice PC dropped the first video someone can when they have time pull it up and and drop that link in here would be nice um yeah big game big game was 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 good um a lot of memory um we might go back to it. we'll see we'll see I just wanted to, and this is 20 pound Tesla. And I'm really glad that um, when I lend um, my rods to um, to Haslife, I didn't give them a 20 pound because that 62 pound was a big, I mean, I'm sure this this could handle it, but I gave them um, my, my my old reels that still had at least 25 pound big gain. But if, if y'all watch his video, when he started out his video, he was trying to drag up a, a, a muddy fish on the bank and his line popped. And I was in a restaurant in the mall with my family. We were eating and I had the phone on silent and um thank you um realistic for coming in and i was like oh boy it popped and i was like that it shouldn't have popped like that in my mind it's like bad knot and when i spoke to him yesterday he dropped my rods back off he's like yeah it was a bad knot and i, I knew it right away because <clears throat> big game short shouldn't have uh shouldn't have broke that quick has life i heard two other three foot yes yeah yeah good 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 rods absolutely yeah, especially that you you just you you do that ice um ice fishing um pc thank you so much for that fight guys we're up to 20 25 dollars in super chats um 91 likes oh you were number thank you for doing the the 91 likes appreciate that um i could not find the lucky shirt <laughs> oh boy i hope that's not a bad sign um i have a bunch of other shirts underneath 140 people waiting for the rods we just had those who were just tuning in we just had we had a, a, a pretty good hit on that one i don't know if it was monstrous but it looked like it was gonna turn out pretty good uh, hola amigo thanks for, for much for coming in team bass you were number 84 <laughs> everybody remembers the number oh man that's awesome uh, big game is strong it, absolutely uh it is super super strong and um i had the we'll see how this illuminates um because i a, a, something that that's really big to me is how it looks underneath black lights um and this one looks really, really good of course it's, it's a little bit thinner because it is 20 pound test line um just going like i said you know going back old school uh, hit the thumbs up um uh, for takedown yeah <laughs> at least for the takedown um we'll see guys if i mean we did have a hit but I, we'll see we might we might we, we will be moving i just i'm not sure if in the next 15 minutes that was a nice, it was a nice bend yeah yeah that's why i like these whisker seeker rods because they got that nice bend down yeah, um, <laughs> i know y'all hear me talk about it a lot whisker seeker and i'm not like i say guys you, whatever you like go with it i mean this is, that's just preference um i i talk about it a lot for the show for the show when i watch someone else fish i like to see band in the action so just what whatever you like and if you want to put whatever you your rod you like be my guest be my guest i know mike chavez when he comes in here he has a pr preference in rods i think is a is it the big cat big cat fever if i remember correctly i really want that andy line that palmetto yes yes um yeah that one or or this line the same line um michael marillo sent me a link because they discontinued the salt strike but he says no they still have it they just kind of changed the the name of it um at 25 i think 25 is the, the sweet spot for me for me everyone has different i mean if, if you fish tournaments or boats something like that i mean you, you want to go with that 30 and 
there he is my child is in the background appreciate that uh does that have a clicker um they do have clickers yeah yeah but it depends also how tight you have your drag so um i have two spinning and uh two casting and uh, who uh painting uh st painting services by steve y'all see him come in here every now and then he gives them um, super chats you know y'all might know him by him um he sent me he has an amazon store y'all might think he's he does painting still i believe he does he just sells on amazon he sent me four brand new reels um beautiful reels he sent me an abu garcia green edition the green one it's a, i think it's a pro rocket of a finmore foot finmore uh, a build dance edition casting and another i can't remember the name but it four rods i'm gonna do a video on, on that one he was awesome and amazing brand new all brand new I mean, can you imagine receiving a box? <laughs> and, I, and I looked them up, and the value of those rods is somewhere between three fifty to four hundred dollars in just reels. That was awesome. Uh, fishing, uh, trucker. Thanks so much for coming in, James. Let me see. I like catfish being caught. <laughs> like just any catfish. Period. Yes. Um, let me see here. River whiskers. Which one do you prefer? Um. Yeah, believe it or not, when 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 um, Whisker Seeker had their Black Friday sale, I had purchased two two more of these big rods, and and these two, these are also brand new. And then when my big rods showed up, the casting ones, I noticed that I noticed that they were heavy action. I, I already had the primer out. I was getting ready to start painting them, and I'm like heavy action, like no. So I contacted Whis Whisker Seeker, and within 30 minutes, they they were emailing me back. They're like, hey, you know what? Um, we'll give you a a, a label sticker. They'll pick, cover the shipping because you ship them back. So I have two more of these coming. But they were really good on that. Customer service was, was spot on. I was happy with that. Come on, let's go fish. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The birds are moving. The birds are singing. Um, yes, yeah, yeah. Awesome, awesome customer service. Love it. Anyone who's new, these rods, get they look even better and better as the night goes, gets darker, so. Um, they are painted with fluorescent paint. They are wrapped with high reflective tape in certain areas. Um, Mr. Kentucky, um, two stands fishing. Man, I, I, I love, man, y'all were on a long, long time and I was in and out watching that show. It was, it was amazing. It was good to see live fishing. Someone has to dislike, yeah, no, no problem. <laughs> yeah, I, I, we, we, a lot of people were getting upset on my last video that we had up to 11 thumbs down, but go back and it, it only has nine now so if they're not here long enough uh youtube will take it take it away so i'm sure if there are haters they're gonna go back and hit the thumbs down but anyways thumbs down they'll, they'll be quite a bit and then youtube will take them away just because they weren't here watching the video long enough yeah <laughs> exactly <clears throat> oh man it's all right no problem rods are not moving they're not dancing thumbs up for you Th i appreciate that thank you very much thank you thank you thank you <clears throat> yes yes and i just used it yesterday um mr uh tony if i'm saying that name right um <laughs> i used my coupon yesterday and i had a ten dollar credit um <laughs> Um, that's why I bought two more, two more, uh, what did I get? Yeah, two more of these. And then the other ones I returned, I'm getting two more of those sent back to me, so. I just, just like to have, you know, I guess <clears throat> I already have plenty, but I like to have more. Um, let me see here, it's not right, too late. Uh, <clears throat> guys, I appreciate all, the, all of you who are members. Um, I'm kind of working on something, hopefully in the new, in near future where I can go live, just members only, just to, It'll be a short little video. I mean, just a short little live stream, nothing big. But um, I haven't figured out how to go live just for the members only. So <clears throat> I'm working. I got I to ask Palmetto. Palmetto might know. What do y'all think, guys? Ten more minutes and we do the move? <laughs> oh. Uh, have you caught anything yet? No, not, nothing. We just had a, a pretty good takedown. It went down to about right here. Um, did not hook up. But the bait's pretty long, so it probably got the tail in. 
Uh, it's going to type day. I hope not. Yeah, so far it's it's, it's early. It's early. Uh, my whisker seekers just shipped today. Hopefully, uh, they'll be here for Saturday. Yes, yes. Um, shipping. I can't remember how fast their shipping is, but you know how the post office everything is behind schedule, so that's probably gonna affect it. But usually they ship up. I mean, they ship out the same day, but. I'm not gonna pay an arm and a leg for quicker shipping. Free shipping is good for me. Was part of the deal. Yes. So if you purchase stuff, uh, it's easy. Just call me. Thank you, Palmetto. Appreciate that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Whoo! Come on, Rods. I'm I'm giving you 10 minutes and we're out of here. Chucky, what's cracking? Uh, catfish regulators. Not much. Just <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like when the rods don't move. I'm trying to slime my new net. <laughs> oh. Yeah, 10 minute move, yeah. We'll be out of here, 10 minutes. I mean, the drive is not very far, believe it or not. Um, depends if the, they, DC like, they do like to control traffic, but I'll have to find a way how to leave DC and come back in and do an illegal U-turn <laughs> for me to get there. Uh, it's weird how those, where the parking's at there. They like to control the traffic pattern. I, 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 <laughs> You're not liking the, the tidal basin. Yeah, I haven't been here in a long time. Uh, does the line glow? It, it will. Like I said, I just changed it. Um, from Berkeley Big Gain uh, to Gabela's uh, Salt Strike, it's it's a line that's been discontinued. Um, it's, it was part of that merge that they did, um, but you can start seeing it. it get, as it gets really dark, you should still see it. And that's another thing I was talking about earlier. I do test my lines under black lights to see if I'm gonna like it, um, how it appears for the show. So, and those the Berkeley Big Gain did really really well. Thank you, Chesapeake. Um, yeah, so when I was pushing, you setting up the, the live, it, I couldn't see the, the that option pop up, but I will try it again. Uh, the morning is shallow in the afternoon. Well, there you go, Mike. This is very sh shallow. Um, the only thing that there's gates. Um, the tidal basin has. You know what? Let's let's get up and uh, work the bones. So once again, guys, this, oh, 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 come on, come on, do it, baby, do it. Baby fish, baby fish, baby fish. <laughs> Woo! Oh man, seems like the chicken kidneys are are having hits right now, but we're we're gonna pack it up here in five minutes. So guys, once again, this is the DC Tidal Basin. Um, it's of course man-made, I don't know, in the 60s or whenever. Um, it, it is pretty, pretty big. And this is considered really shallow water. So, I mean, if the rivers, if it's moving, I my theory is that they will come in here and rest, the bigger fish. But there's gates, see if I can point it out right over there those who follow um one rod and one reel there's gates over there and one rod and one reel fish right there and the, he's always fishing for smallmouth snakeheads um he even had a um a video with his uh his sister um fishing right there so there's gates there and that's the riverside and if you want to go to the the channel side um which a lot of you have seen me fish on the channel side there's gates around this bend on that side. There's other gates over there. There's like an overpath and the fish can go in and out. Uh, cat buster will time out. All right. Guess y'all know what y'all are doing. Appreciate that, Jesse. Um, so there's the Thomas Jefferson. My, my biggest in here is 40 pounds. Was caught around right there. Um, but that's been several years ago. And I'll pan around here. Y'all can see the beautiful monument right there. Boom. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe it was a miss hit. Yeah, I gotta sometimes time out too quick, but it's all right. No problem. No problem. Michael Miller was a, used to be able to save him, but for some reason, 
he's not a moderator no more. Not sure what happened. I'm, I keep hitting it. I've hit it like four times. Um, let me see here. Uh oh, so someone's still mad. <laughs> uh, well, there you go. <laughs> double. Still double. No problem. If he deserves to be out of here, let's kick him out. There you go. So, dude, once again, five more minutes and we're, we're going to pack it up. The truck's right there. It's not far at all. So, I just move everything. Once again, we are trying to, to slime the new net. The Whisker Seeker sent me for free. Just, just because. Um, I do appreciate that from them. They were also amazing. Uh, we did troll. <laughs> uh, let me try one more time, Michael Merlo. See. Do a test. Just say test, Michael Merlo. See. Uh, hit the bread. <laughs> and nothing, 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 nothing. Guys, what do you think? Should I start packing it up now? There's no reason to wait anymore. Just a couple of minutes or five more minutes. Oh, I love the monument. But yeah, it's beautiful. Look, look, look at this. Let me get this just in case <laughs> for my... Uh, just for the thumbnails. Um, Real-time catfishing is absolutely amazing. Hi. Boom. Money shot. <laughs> Thumbnail shot. See if that kind of works out. Be nice if we had a rod move. Uh, let me see. Marilla, are you a moderator yet or not? <laughs> uh, I don't know what is going on. I was able to add, I believe I added Avid as a moderator. All right, guys, I am going to pack it up. Oh, man. There's the Secret secret Service or Coast Guard. How's everyone doing tonight? Mo's in the house. Mo, we're getting ready to move. Um, what's wrong? N nothing's wrong. <laughs> The rods are not moving. That's what's wrong. <laughs> oh, I think we had a little troll coming here. Whatever. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? It's because I keep I keep trying to add uh, Michael Murillo as a moderator. I've already and it, it it will not let me. Um, and he's one of the few people who's got the power to to do more than than a moderator. And I'm not sure what happened. All right, guys. I'm gonna turn the camera around just to make sure we're not lagging. Because when it's like on that camera, I can't see anything. But I am going to start packing it up and move move spots. It's just not happening here. Hey, realistic fishing DMV. What's going on, DMV? We're gonna move. We're in the tidal basin. Um, and those who just came in, let me just show you. So once again, y'all, y'all just finished seeing the Thomas Jefferson Memorial there. And boom, look at that. Look at this area where I'm at. It's a beautiful, beautiful spot. All right, stop talking, Austin. Pack it up. Move. You don't want to miss the, the bite over there because it does come as well.
my face. It's Neil head. I'm about to say Neil head. Hundred forty people. What? Two more rods. Three more rods, guys. I'm gonna reel them real quick. Pack it up. I'm gonna move. Gotta move. Man, I can't believe it's now 134 people. All right, guys, quick move. Got to pack up right there to my truck is, boom. We're going to move, set up. We'll go live in about 15, 20 minutes. I'll try to do it as quick as I can. See you shortly, guys. Love every single one of you. Bye-bye.